What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are back again with brand new WWE action figure news. I feel like it has just been news season, man. Tons and tons of WWE action figure news coming in and pouring in. Every single day I'm getting new notifications, I'm getting new news, and I gotta report on it. I gotta talk about it. I gotta get it out to you guys so you guys are in the loop. You guys know what's going on. And I guess it's because it's San Diego Comic Con season. It's SDCC season. So a lot of things flying around. Lots of rumors. Lots of leaks. Lots of things potential lineups, things of this nature, just coming out all the time, man, so that's just the way it works sometimes, but we're going to run through it today, man. We have Elite Series 97 and Ultimate Edition Series 15 leaked out to us, and I'm excited to see it. It's not exactly leaked, I guess it is, but some of the websites have gotten the lineups, and they've already posted them, so that's one of the things that we're going to talk about here today, man, but let's go ahead and recap real quick before we get to Elite 97. Let's go ahead and, and we also have some random Elites that are coming up that will also get into. We'll speculate a little bit about it, but let's go ahead and get into Elite Series 93 through 97. That way you guys are updated and you guys will know all of the stats going forward from now until we get to Elite Series 97. So with that being said, man, let's go ahead and start off with Elite Series 93. So for Elite Series 93, you guys already know that we did already review the set. It's the most recent set that we have in our hands. It's not quite the retail, but it is the set that we have reviewed last on the channel. It's Seth Rollins, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. We have T-Bar. We have Raquel Gonzalez. We have Karrion Cross, and we have Cesaro. So that is Elite Series 93. Again, there's full reviews of this whole wave up on the channel if you guys want to check that out. Diving into Elite 94, we have Edge, Mace, Nash Carter, Wesley, Bret Hart, and Stephanie McMahon. That is the full wave that we have right there. I also think that the collector's edition is British Bulldog, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong about that. I want to say that is the case for them. And then we did have Elite Series 95. We've known about Elite 95 here on the channel a while back, from about a month or two ago, but we did have it revealed to us at WrestleMania Access and some details of the set. So Elite Series 95 is actually going to be John Cena, Shotzi Blackheart, Big E, Bobby Lashley, Eddie Guerrero as the Chase 2. He has two different versions there, and then we do have Jimmy Uso. So, Elite 95, John Cena, Shotzi Blackheart, Big E, Bobby Lashley, Eddie Guerrero, with the chase, and Jimmy Uso. I don't think I have the collector's edition written down right here. For Elite Series 96, we don't know exactly what it is, but if I'm speculating on it, I think that Becky Lynch that we saw at WrestleMania Axis with the WandaVision gear, and then the Brock Lesnar in the jeans with the new haircut, with the smiling face sculpt and head sculpt, I think that is two figures that will be represented in Elite 96. Because, of course, I'm just speculating here. We don't have the full wave, I don't think, but Elite Series 97 today, we do have the full lineup. So let's go ahead and get into Elite Series 97. So the first figure in Elite 97 is going to be none other than Sheamus. Yes, we do have a Sheamus figure for Elite 97. It has been a little bit since we got a Sheamus figure, so it's not like a huge surprise. It's been 15 series since we last saw Sheamus. We saw him in Elite Series 84. Not the most exciting figure ever, but, you know, it will be nice to have an updated double-jointed arm. You know, they're trying to get reprints of those guys that do not have a double-jointed figure just yet. I think that's their thought process with some of these figures is get some double jointed versions of these guys out. And this Sheamus should be really nice with, you know, accessories. Sheamus figures are some of the best you can buy. So I know the formula will be outstanding. I'm sure the head sculpt will be dope. This will be a really good Sheamus, but not, not, not the first guy I'd probably want in updated form because I think his Elite 84 is really damn good, but it'll still be a really good figure when we get it in hand. Moving up next, guys, we have Xavier Woods. We have Xavier Woods in Elite Series 97. Not another figure that I think just pleaded for a figure. You know, because, again, we don't have a double-jointed version, which I think is the reason we're getting it here. We did, it wasn't that recent, but it was semi-recent. We did have that one, like, Snoop Dogg-looking head sculpt. Remember, it had the interchangeable heads, and he had, like, the pink, blue, and purple gear. I want to say it was in the 80s. It may have been late 70s. I want to say it was, like, Elite 80 or Elite 81, maybe, or something like that. Xavier Woods was in that set there. So there is Xavier Woods there. I'm guessing that this new one will probably be King Woods or something like that, if I had to take a guess. But Xavier Woods is the next figure in the set. And you guys know that Big E is a part of Elite 95, so I'm guessing maybe we're going to try and get three versions there. You know, like I'm guessing Kofi Kingston will probably be coming up soon because he is not in Elite Series 97. The next figure in the set is going to be Alexa Bliss. Now, this is one I did not see coming. I did not think we would be getting Alexa Bliss this fast. The only thing that I can think of is that they're going to get Alexa Bliss out and she's going to come with Lily, the doll. That is what I would expect here because we have had her in figure form, so I'm guessing they're going to release Lily 
with the Alexa Bliss. We did just get the Ultimate, though. Again, another figure where I don't really think we needed an Alexa Bliss Elite. I think it'll be really good because it'll have double jointed arms. It'll have great accessories. It'll probably have either an Ultimate Edition version of the head sculpt or it'll have a brand new head sculpt. Then you throw in the Lily accessory and different cloth goods and stuff. This is probably going to be a really good figure. It's just not one that I think we just needed desperately. But, you know, it is Alexa Bliss there. The next figure in the set, guys, is going to be none other than Ronda Rousey. So this is one that I'm actually really excited about uh, because you guys know that I love the Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey. I'm guessing that they'll probably use a semi-similar similar formula for Ronda Rousey. Of course, you won't get the interchangeable arms or the jacket and all that good stuff, but maybe we'll get some cloth goods and double-jointed arms, double-jointed legs, very nice Ronda Rousey figure that can go to war with that Ultimate Edition. That'll be really nice to see. Maybe that is going to be what we get here with Ronda Rousey, but she is the fourth figure in the set. And I'm actually excited for this figure. Not like the greatest release ever, but at the same time, it is, you know, it's a, it's going to be pretty much another version of Ronda Rousey in Ultimate Edition form. The next figure in the set, guys, is going to be Omos. Now, this is one that I'm in, in intrigued to see how they do it. It's going to be a very heavy package. It's going to be a massive figure. Double jointed arms, double jointed legs. You guys know that we did get his basic not too re or not too long ago. I still haven't gotten my hands on it just yet. I do need to order that, but Omos is going to be an intriguing elite. It'll probably be the biggest elite they've ever made, so that'll be pretty cool. You know, not my favorite character by any means, but I think as a figure, as a standalone figure, he'll be ginormous. G you know, Great Khali never got an elite figure, so seeing Omos get his own elite should be really awesome and interesting to see. Again, not my favorite character, but at the same time, Omos is, is, you guys will notice in a trend with Elite 97, tons and tons of current day guys. And then wrapping up the set, our last figure in this set is going to be the Chainsaw Charlie figure that we saw so long ago in the render image. You guys know, if you guys don't know who Chainsaw Charlie is, it is Terry Funk there. And it's a, a really great looking figure. I'm actually really excited to see the figure. And I don't know if he's the collector's edition or if he's just standalone in the wave and they're doing something else for the collector's editions. I'm just really interested to see where they're going with these different waves and sets because you guys know that we do have some surprises they said about some upcoming ultimates, some ruthless aggression, some different things like that. And then not only do we have Elite Series 97 here, here's the full wave if you guys wanted to know. The full Elite 97 wave is Sheamus, Alexa Bliss, Omos, Xavier Woods, Ronda Rousey, and Chainsaw Charlie. So in my honest opinion, not the best wave, honestly. You know, it's not the best wave ever. I think it's kind of a blessed set in, in totalness there. I just think that it, it doesn't have a lot of meat on the bone, some would say. It's not a one of those sets that's going to knock you in the face. You know, we're not talking about an Elite 91 wave or anything like that, in my opinion here. So this is kind of an eh wave. I think the figures will be really great. I think it's cool to see all the double jointed arms and all those different things. I just don't think that it quite hits the nail on the head for me as far as a standalone set. But anyways, man, we do have some upcoming random elites here listed. Now, some of this news does come to us from Painmaker Creations on Instagram. So definitely give them a follow. I'll leave a link to their page down in the description below. But four upcoming elites that they have talked about is going to be AJ Styles, Sasha Banks, Brock Lesnar, and Dolph Ziggler. Now, I'm excited for all four of these. It's been a long time since we saw a wrestling gear AJ Styles elite. Sasha Banks with an updated double jointed arm will be really sweet. Brock Lesnar, I'm not sure if that includes that elite that we saw at WrestleMania Axis or if that's a brand new one. And then last but not least, we have my man Dolph Ziggler. Overdue for an elite. You know, his last elite was elite, what, 70 or something like that? So Dolph Ziggler could absolutely absolutely use it. You know, double jointed arms, updated formula, nice head sculpt, nice tights. I mean, they could do a lot of stuff with Ziggler there, so I'm really excited to see him. So after these elites, we actually do have Ultimate Edition Series 15 put up to us. So not only are we getting Elite 97 listed here, we also have Ultimate Edition Series 15 for us. So let's go ahead and get into that, man. The first figure in Ultimate Edition Series 15 is going to be Brock Lesnar. Yes, so not only are we getting upcoming elites of Brock Lesnar, but we're getting a brand new Ultimate Edition, not to mention his first Ultimate Edition. So this one is probably going to be, I this, this is where I'm struggling. You guys know that we are getting the elite version of Brock in the, the former gear, quote unquote, with the jeans, with all that stuff as we've talked about in this video already. I'm not sure if this is going to be a jeans version with like, you know, cloth, flannel, jacket, vest, cowboy hat, WWE championship, that kind of Brock, or is it going to be wrestling gear Brock with a bunch of, you know, a screaming head sculpt with the ponytail, an angry face with the ponytail, 
in wrestling gear. I'm guessing it would be wrestling gear because you guys know that we are going to get our jeans and stuff. Maybe it'll come with a flannel shirt and cowboy hat and then you can mix that with your elite that you got. I'm not entirely sure, but I am happy for this Brock Lesnar. I'm excited to see this Brock Lesnar. I think his Ultimate Edition is one of the better Ultimate Editions, and I also think it's the best Brock Lesnar figure ever made, so this will be nice to see if it can rival that one, be better, have better tooling, things of that nature, so that'll be really awesome to see as well. And then the other figure in Ultimate Edition Series 15 is going to be Ultimate Warrior. Yes, Ultimate Warrior. Ultimate Warrior is getting his third Ultimate Edition that we've seen. I do not know what gear it's going to be. I don't know what the choices are. I don't know any of that stuff, but that will be revealed to us soon enough. I'm sure we'll probably see a render of it or something, you know, something of that nature at San Diego Comic-Con, but we do that, we do know that Ultimate Edition Series 14 is Roman Reigns and Jeff Hardy, so then Ultimate Edition 15 will be Brock and Ultimate Warrior, so let me know, I know a lot of people are going to be moaning and groaning, it's repeats, we'd like to see some new guys in the line and stuff, and maybe that's why Steve got on that, you know, that interview call and was like, I know people hate repeats, maybe he was trying to, you know, just put up a wall before all the stuff came in about Brock and Ultimate Warrior, but I think some of these are warranted. You know, Ultimate Warrior, he, he's got a guy with a lot of looks, and he sells well, so I understand why he's in there. He was in the first series. He had the fan takeover version, and now we're getting this version. So, I, you know, I understand it. It all makes sense to me. And Brock Lesnar, you know, they're big-time, larger-than-life superstars, so I get it. So I guess we're just going to have to play it by ear. It's not another Hogan, you know. It's not, a, it's not another one of those. I'm expecting to see a, probably another Macho Man soon. I could see us getting a lot of different guys, but I think I'm on the I'm on the case now where we have plenty of throwback guys. I'd really like to see an AJ Styles, a Seth Rollins, a Randy Orton, one of those guys being made now. Even a Ray would be kind of cool. Even though we've had a ton of Ray Mysterios, I'd like to see what they do with an Ultimate Edition. I'd love to see another John Cena potentially one day. I'm sure he'll be coming down the line as well. One guy that I think I'd love to see an Ultimate Edition form as well is Kurt Angle. If he could ever get back in WWE at some point, I would love to see him in an Ultimate Edition. There's lots of guys. There's tons of guys that I would like to see in Ultimate Edition form. I could see them redoing Edge at one point. I mean, there's lots of guys. There's definitely lots of guys that I could see them doing, but we will have to play that by ear, man. But that is going to wrap up our news. We had Elite Series 97 and Ultimate Edition 15, as well as some other Elites, and then I wanted to recap the rest of the Elites there, man. But I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on Elite Series 97. Do you think it's a mess set? Do you think it's a great set? Let me know your thoughts there. And then Ultimate Edition Series 15. What do you think of Brock and Ultimate Warrior, man? But I'm getting out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Toys. Subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video. I'd really greatly appreciate it so we can push this news out to as many as possible. But have a blessed day. And uh, I guess Elite Series 97. You crossed the line.